hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus square root of x is equals to 30 and we solve this problem for the values of x so the very first step we are going to do is first you see here this square root of x is multiplied by three times and we know that when any number is multiplied by three times we write this into the cubic form so we write this into the cubic form as square root of x and it's whole cubed plus this is square root of x is equals to 30 and now uh, here we convert this radical equation into the cubic form uh, so for this we will uh, take here uh, y is equals to square root of x so when you take y equals square root of x then our above equation is written as we put this value here it will becomes y cubed plus y is equals to 30 so this is the cubic equation in y variable and uh, here our first target is to find the values of y and then we move backward and we can find the value of x so you see that this is the cubic equation so we find the values of y uh, and now here we need to focus in the right hand side so we break the right hand side and we write uh, this 30 as 27 plus 3 uh, and now we write uh, the right hand side into the prime factors form so it will be written as y cubed plus y is equals to this is 27 we write it as 3 cubed plus this is over 3 and now in the next step we will make the pair of cubic term with the cubic term and square term with the square term so that uh, we make this 3 cubed pair with y cubed and it will be written as y cubed minus 3 cubed because this is positive term when we move in the left hand side it will becomes negative similarly when you move plus 3 in the left hand side it will becomes negative and we write it as y minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here in the next step we solve this problem with the help of cubic formula you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so uh, from this formula uh, here we can apply this formula in the first factor and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we put these two values of a and b in this formula and it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is y minus the value of b is 3 into this is a square over a is y square plus a b a is y and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and plus this is y minus 3 whole equation equals 0 and now uh, you see here both of these terms involve y minus 3 so that we will take common y minus 3 and we get the remaining values are so when you take common y minus 3 from here we will get y square plus 3y plus this 3 square equals to 9 and when we take common y minus 3 from here we will get a plus 1 only and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to simplify the terms and we add or subtract here like terms so we have this is y square plus 3y plus 9 plus 1 becomes 10 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write y minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y square plus 3y plus 10 is equals to 0 and now here uh, in order to find the values of x first we need to find the value of y from here so that uh, from this case we easily get the value of y is equals to 3 and now uh, in order to find the value of x we move backward and we put the value of y here and we will take our y is equals to square root of x we back substitute the value of y and it is equals to 3 so because we solve this problem with, uh, for the values of x so that we need to take the scaling on both of the sides uh, in order to find the value of x so you see here these two and square root are gone and we get our 
x is equal to 3 square becomes 9. So this is the value, this is the first real value of x uh, in this problem. And now here you know, in order to find the other values of x we need to solve this quadratic equation. So in order to solve this quadratic equation uh, we uh, use here the quadratic formula. So that uh, we can just solve this uh, quadratic equation. First we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 3 and c is equals to 10. And we state the quadratic formula as y is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and we can put the values of a, b and c in this formula and it will be written as y is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 3 so when you put it here it will become minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so our b is equals to 3 square minus 4 times of ac here our a is equals to 1 and c is equals to 10 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so now here in the next step we need some simplifications here and we add or subtract the like terms and we have y is equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of this is 3 square 3 square equals to 9 minus 4 times of 10 equals to 40 and it is divided by 2 times 1 equals to 2. So here we add or subtract the like terms and we have this is minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 40 equals to minus 31 and it is divided by 2. So from here we will get y equals minus 3 plus minus. We know that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign it will becomes iota so it will be written as a 31 square root into iota and it is divided by 2 and now we back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take here our y is equals to square root of x so when you put it here it will becomes square root of x equals minus 3 plus minus square root of 31 into iota and it is divided by 2 so because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why here we need to take the scaling on both of the sides in this way okay you see here this two and this square root are gone and we get our x is equals to here we can apply this square root uh, this square on both of these values and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 31 into iota whole square divided by 2 square and 2 square equals to 4. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have uh, the one real root of the given equation is x equals to 9. So this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.